Hey everyone, Brian with Workshop Addict and today we have a Milwaukee M18 half inch impact wrench with one key. This is model number 2759B and we have the kit with us which is a Dash 22 so it comes with an M18 and M12 charger, two 5 amp hour batteries and the tool. This tool is a friction ring model and they also make it a pin detent if you're looking for that. Now let's go over some quick specs on this before we get into the one key. This is a fuel model, so it comes with the Power State brushless motor. It has a Red Link Plus intelligent system and red lithium ion batteries that all communicate with each other to save the tool from either overheating the battery, overheating the motor, or ruining it. It comes with a five year warranty on the tool. And this has a fastening torque of 220 foot pounds, a max RPM of 2,500 and 3200 IPM. It weighs 4.1 pounds and the only difference really between this and some of the other uh, impact wrenches that compact ones anyways that, that Milwaukee has out is that there is a small battery in the bottom that helps the one key store some uh, memory items and you have four modes on this that are customizable but they do come from the factory with their preset settings like you'd normally see on an impact wrench. Now let's talk one key. I know this is a controversial subject in a way. Some people love it, some people hate it, but what I'm going to ask you to do is go in even if you don't have a one key tool download the app and the reason why I want you to download the app is there's a lot of things that you can do with that app even if you don't have a Milwaukee tool you can track any type of tool that you have you can save images you can save receipts you can save purchase dates it'll help you with warranty information there's a lot of things that you can do even if you're not invested in Milwaukee or Milwaukee's one key system just check it out it's interesting. Now on this impact driver or impact wrench, excuse me, uh, it's very similar to the impact driver when you go in you have a lot of different settings but basically you have the customization of anything you want for speed and torque. You also have the ramp up of the, spigger, uh, the trigger speed and the lighting if you want the light brighter, not so bright, how long you want the light on, do you want the light to always stay on. Um, but the big thing here is if you're working in concrete or masonry or brick. You can set this up for any type of fastener. They have a lot of presets inside. You basically can go in, choose exactly what you're doing, and it will set the impact wrench up to fit that exact need. Very nice that they have these initial preset up things for you so you don't have to customize and figure out exactly what you need for that type of fastening. Now for the rest of us who are in automotive, this will not simply say I need this bolt at 90 foot pounds. It doesn't do it. Impact wrenches are not that accurate. They're actually very inaccurate just by design and by the different types of steel or bolts or nuts that you could be using with them. More of a springy steel is not going to get the type of fastening that a nice harder brittle or I don't want to go into too brittle but a harder bolt is going to suck up and take that energy a little better. So Milwaukee doesn't have different modes in there for that just yet. Now they can always update this down the road which is cool. They can just push something out on the app and it can come in and update the tool. So there's room for improvement but basically what you have in there is you have four settings that you can customize. You can change your RPM and you can change the torque. Now what I did for me is I set up two modes and I set up basically two and three on here to be my custom modes. I kept level one and I kept level four standard. Level four is full all out power and I want to always have that in this tool if I need the power. Level two I set up to be my fastening uh, some sort of bolt with low torque. Now I use this on lug nuts because we always preach don't put your lug nuts on with a torque or an impact wrench. Always put them on by hand or lightly fasten them then come back with the torque wrench. What I want to do is stop using level one because level one is slow in RPMs. So I set up level two to be high in RPMs, low in torque. So now I can go up to my lug nuts, I can set them up how I want them, put them in place and spin them in faster knowing that I'm nowhere near the high torque setting that I might be if I was using level four for the speed. So there's no fear of over torquing. I can put them in, let the unit impact a little bit and go. Level three I set up for ATVs. I don't know what it is about ATVs, but when you get them out in the dirt, the mud, 
and even the salt, you get the bolts that start to rust up. And when you're removing a bolt, you start to get to that point where the rust and dirt's on the thread, things get a little tight and you can snap a bolt. So what I did on here is still kept my high RPM because that's what I want. I want to get that bolt up fast if I can, but I lowered the torque setting down so that I'm not ripping a bolt or snapping a bolt and I will know if I have a rusted bolt or I need to get some uh, thread lubricant or anything on there to help get that bolt out or to clean it. So what one key is about is customizing for you. If you're in manufacturing, if you do a lot of construction and you're setting up uh, different bolts, different fasteners, concrete, steel, anything like that, you can set this up to fit you. And that's what it's about. This is about fitting you. I know it's not for everyone, but at the same point, it does fit and work for almost everybody who tries it because there's something you can customize that you just want to do. So let's discuss it. I know it's a little bit controversial. Give us some comments in the bottom. Tell us what you think. Either way, let's talk about it. Get some more information out. Try to download the app. Just take a look at it. There is some cool things in there. You can do tool tracking on this and you can find out which tools are nearby. And if you have multiple one key tools sitting in front of you and you need to identify which one you're working on, there is a button on there and it will have the uh, bottom mode selection flash. So it, it's cool if you're a large contractor or in your large business, there is a spot for this. And if, even if you work in your own shop, you can use this and customize it to what you want. So. Let's talk about it. Stop by Workshop Addicts. We've got a blog and a forum. Also, uh, check us out on social media. We're on most of your favorite channels. Also, give us a like on this and subscribe to our channel. We'll keep you up to date with different projects and tool news that we have going on. Thanks for your time, guys. Have a great day.